Hello, everybody. Welcome out to the show. Thanks for coming. It's November 16th, 2013 at 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, or your local equivalent of that time. It is so good to see all of you beautiful people. Thank you so much for coming to the Saturday show. Hopefully, the European crowd out there among you is uh, having a better time, having a better go of it today, as opposed to being awake at 2 in the morning. Uh, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully this will accommodate. We are going to be playing another hour of the Stanley Parable today, as well as some Spelunky Death Roulette for the second hour, and then the Indie Preview, which I encourage you all to stick around for for the third hour if you can manage to do so. It's going to be a good time. Now, I will uh, I will throw out the warning again. Jen, you're here. Good to see you again. Barry, you don't want to spoil this game. Uh, oh, yes, that's, ex that's exactly what I'm getting to, actually, Provocative Ambulance. Um, so... I'm going to be playing this one probably today, and then I assume maybe Tuesday as well. I feel like I have quite a few endings left to go for, so we'll see what happens. But uh, again, I'll throw out the warning. I encourage you, if you have even a passing interest here in the Stanley Parable, uh, don't watch this. <laughs> because um, I'm, going to, I'm going to be doing this all uh, organically for myself, and I want to experience it in full. So I'm going to be doing a lot of things and spoiling a lot of stuff. So... With that in mind, uh, I'm about to get started here, so if you want to keep it, uh, if you want to keep it unique, if you want to keep it new to you, I highly recommend picking up the game and doing that for yourself. But for now, it's time to get going. So we're going to load a game, because I actually did save the game that we did last time, because normally it doesn't even save a game for you, you just kind of go about your business. I'm also going to be doing the uh, full volume for the narrator, so hopefully you guys can hear everything, and blah, 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 and it's going to be a good time, so hopefully you all can enjoy it, and I'm so happy you're here with me. Oh, it will be so much fun. It'll be so much fun. I love you too, intoxicated penguin. And hopefully this is going to load for me. It was, <laughs> it was doing the same kind of thing last time. I think we'll be okay. What endings have you gotten so far? Uh, well, last time we got the broom closet, we got the... <laughs> <laughs> Rumble Muffin just subscribed. Rumble Muffin, thank you. I am sure the loading screen is so entertaining and the perfect time to have the children cheer. But nonetheless, thank you so much, buddy, for supporting the channel. You were fantastic. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Here we go. So uh, we also got the ending where you just straight up closed this door last time. And hopefully a lot of you have an idea of what this game is. I'll try to sum it up in a few words if I can here. The no Stanley Parable. No hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Is this guy. That, that's, that's basically it. And yes, please do avoid spoilers for me here. So, last time I kind of let the chat guide the way as far as the endings we were going for. I think I'm going to go ahead and take the reins for the most part today. Awaiting input. Can I type on the key? Whoa, I can type on the keyboard. Um, I did one purple. That did, that did something. Oh, jeez. <laughs> well, that's interesting. I have no idea what that does. But yeah, I'm, uh, I'm gonna kind of take the reins here today. And, and, uh, see where I can find myself. Just based on my own sense of direction. And this is, of course, a unique circumstance, just because we, uh, well, we ended on, on Thursday's show by shutting the door to my office and then just experiencing that ending. But when we opened the door again, we had all these papers all over the floor, so I have no idea what's going on. But let's, let's go ahead. Somebody just when subscribe? Oh, I'm so sorry! Two open doors. He entered the door on his left. 0XE2889, I don't know why the children didn't cheer for you, but subscriber hugs, bear hugs for you, my friend. Thank you very much. Love, 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 appreciate it, buddy. Z Z I'm trying to figure out how to say your name phonetically. <laughs> 0 xe 289 There we go. A bear from the Netherlands, hello, J-Pal. I'm gonna go left. Let's go left this time. I'm gonna obey the man for as far as I can throw him. I think that'll be the extent of it. Yet there was not a single person here either. Mm -hmm. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Yeah! There it is. 
<laughs> Tangifax just subscribed. Thank you, thank you very, very much, and I'm so glad the children cheering are working again. Uh, thank you very much, Tangifax. Bear hug for you, my friend. You were fantastic. The endings I've achieved so far. Okay, I was trying to figure that out as we were going through here. Uh, I've gotten the confusion ending. I've gotten the, uh, Stanley dies due to, like, chaos down in the parking garage basement ending. I've gotten the broom closet thing, which isn't technically an ending, I guess. Uh, so yeah, here's the broom closet, which we did. A lot of fun. And, uh, let's see. Oh, the slideshow thing. Yeah, it's pretty hilarious. <laughs> <laughs> all that stuff. This is the kind of thing, like, I'm, I'm encouraging people to play the game for themselves just so they can look into all the nitty little details of that kind of stuff because they have so many hilarious little Coming things that you wouldn't staircase, otherwise notice. Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. So one of the endings here is going down into this area, going into the basement and experiencing that. So we've already done that, which means it's time to go upstairs, I believe. Did you get the subscriber ending? It's where you... <laughs> I'm already subscribed to myself. Five dollars a month directly to me. Except not really. They gave it to me. They're nice. They make me not have to pay for my own subscription. It's pretty, pretty splendid of them. Stepping into his manager's office, Stanley was once again stunned to discover not an indication of any human life. Shocked, unraveled, Stanley wondered in disbelief who orchestrated this. What dark secret was being held from him? What he could not have known was that the keypad behind the boss's desk guarded the terrible truth that his boss had been keeping from him. And so the boss had assigned it an extra secret pin number. 2845. But of course, Stanley couldn't possibly have known this. Well, that didn't work. Press the 8 again and again, all right. 8! Stanley simply began entering random codes into the keypad knowing full well the sheer statistical unlikelihood that this would ever result in a correct combination. If he knew that the combo oh, was 2845, it would be another story entirely. But no, no, this is what he was going to go... 2845. <laughs> He's really angry with me already. Um, so I've already been in this room, which is why I'm not really reacting purely to it, just because I've already seen the immaculate uh, boss's lair. I really like that photo in the middle. More eight. All right, I'll go for the eight. Forgot, but it turns out that the panel's emergency override kicked oh, no. in, and the door just opened all by itself, and oh. Stanley got the hell along with the story. Well, whoop de do. <laughs> uh, let's keep doing eight, though. Eight. 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 Hey, we got it. That's an achievement, apparently. Nice. Well, that was fun. <laughs> Alright, let's uh let's get the hell along with the story. Not many options. Down the other way we go. The eight reference to the demo, yeah, I actually did play the demo for myself too, so I got that part. It's pretty fantastic. Uh oh now uh oh I didn't realize we could have done the code after that as well. <laughs> he probably would have had a hilarious line of dialogue for that. Into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. It was a stirring of emotion in his chest, as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. I expect so. You're gonna go for it? No problem, Doom to Death. Stanley walked blame straight you. ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Or Escape. What did he do? Yeah, if you guys don't want to spoil this game for yourself, I don't blame you one bit because it's pretty fantastic. WR165, big fan, thank you for coming, my friend. Ooh, I want to go through here. I think I'm gonna go through. I'm gonna go this way. Curious. Hmm. Can I read this? I wish I could read that. Let's push the big light bulb button. The lights rose on an enormous room packed with television screens. What horrible secret did this place hold? Stanley thought to himself. Did he have the strength to find out? I can't go back, apparently. So I must have the strength to find out. 
Ah, this is the room. We've been up on that catwalk a few times before, so this is the proper entrance to this room, I suppose. Ah, here we go. Now the monitors jump to life, their true nature revealed. Each bore the number of an employee in the building, Stanley's co-workers. The lives of so many individuals reduced to images on a screen, and Stanley, one of them, eternally monitored in this place where freedom meant nothing. Where freedom meant nothing. Damn. This is an intense room. This mind control facility, it was too horrible to believe it couldn't be true. Had Stanley really been under someone's control all this time? Was this the only reason he was happy with his boring job? That his emotions had been manipulated to accept it blindly? I really like the music in here. Well, we can't go back, so I guess I'm limited to one option again. I, I need to be paying more attention to the possibilities of when I can, you know, double back on the progress we've made and hopefully go do something else. No. He refused to believe it. He couldn't accept it. His own life in someone else's control? Never. It was unthinkable. Wasn't it? Was it even possible? Had he truly spent his entire life utterly blind to the world? But here was the proof. The heart of the operation. Controls labeled with emotions. Happy or sad or content. Walking, eating, working, all of it monitored and commanded from this very place. And as the cold reality of his past began to sink in, Stanley decided that this machinery would never again exert its terrible power over another human life. For he would dismantle the controls once and for all. Or would I? Hmm. There's, a, there's numbers here. There's a one, two, and a three. And everything is offline. Hmm. Perhaps if we push the numbers in the cr Oh, wait, hang on. There's a five. Where's the eight? Five plus three is eight. There's the three. There must be a four somewhere, then. If there's a five over here. Where is the four? Never in my life have I wanted to see a four so much. Wait, what's up there? Is that the four? That could be the four. Let's find out. Oh, come on. Come on. There we go. Okay, so there's the four. Are there only five, I wonder? Hmm. Alright, I'm gonna try pushing these in order, because I only see five buttons, so let's see... Whoa! Yo, yo, you just subscribed! Thank you very, very much! I'm gonna push these buttons in order for you. Yo, yo, Fee, a big bear hug to you, my friend. You are fantastic, thank you. Alright, where's the three? Oh, whoops, it's over here. I remember now. I'm gonna find the three over on this side. There we go. And then we push the four up on the top of the staircase. All right. This is this is far too linear for it to be something for the Stanley Parable. I feel like there's some kind of backwards order I should be trying to post these in or punch these in rather. As opposed to just hitting one, two, three, four, five in order. And I wouldn't be surprised if, like, literally nothing happened here. So let's see what happens. Literally nothing. <laughs> okay. Well, that was exciting, wasn't it? Hmm. Oh, what about this big red button there? I can't push it. Hmm. So that did nothing at all. That's really interesting. Alright, I'm gonna move on, I guess. I, uh... That was... That was hopeful. Oh, hey, here we go. 
Mind controls idle awaiting input. And when at last he found the source of the room's power, he knew it was his duty, his obligation, to put an end to this horrible place and to everything it stood for. Nope. Oh, Stanley, you didn't just activate the controls, did you? After they kept you enslaved all these years, you go and you try to take control of the machine for yourself. Is that what you wanted? Control? Yep. Oh, Stanley, I applaud your effort, I really do. But you need to understand, there's only so much that machine can do. You were supposed to let it go, turn the controls off, and leave. If you want to throw my story off track, you're going to have to do much better than that. I'm afraid you don't have nearly the power you think you do. For example, and I believe you'll find this pertinent, Stanley suddenly realized he had just initiated the network's emergency detonation system. In the event that this machine is activated without proper DNA identification, nuclear detonators are set to explode, <laughs> oh, eliminating the entire complex. How long until detonation then? Mm, let's say, um, two minutes. Oh, God. Ah, now this is making things a little more fun, isn't it, Stanley? It certainly it's your is. your time to shine. You are the star. It's your story now. Shape it to your heart's desires. Oh, God, the music. Oh, this is much better than what I had in mind. What a shame we have so little time left to enjoy it. Mere moments until the bomb goes off. But what precious Holy moment cow. each one of them is. More time to talk about you, about me, where we're going. I have three attempts means, remaining. I barely and what? know where to start. Passcode? You'd like to know where your co-workers are? A moment of solace before you're obliterated? Alright, I'm in a good mood. You're gonna One. die anyway. I'll tell you exactly what happened to them. Oh whoops. I erased oh, them. Oh wait, three. I turned oh, it's telling me to push machine. three. I set you free. Of course, that was merely in this instance of the story. Sometimes when I tell it, I simply let you sit there in your office forever, pushing buttons endlessly and then dying alone. Other times, I let uh, the office three, sink three. into the ground, swallowing everyone Wait, do I need inside, to push this or I let it burn to a crisp. I have uh, to say this, though. This version oh of events has been rather amusing. Watching this you try yellow. to make sense of everything and take back the control wrested away from you, it's quite rich. I almost hate to see it go. But I'm sure whatever I come up with on the next go around will be even better. My goodness, only 34 seconds left. Oh, but wait, I'm there's a door here. Oh, so God. Much. Oh, he you know what? <laughs> he's the a jerk. I'm going to put some extra time on the clock. Why not? Oh, thanks, buddy. These are precious additional seconds, Stan. Time doesn't grow on trees. Oh, okay. dear me. What's the matter, Stanley? Is it that you have no idea where you're going or what you're supposed to be doing right yes, now? Yes, that's exactly what or it did is. did you just assume when you saw that timer that something in this room was capable of turning it off? I mean, look at you. Running from button to button, screen to screen, clicking on every little thing in this room. These numbered buttons, no, these colored oh, ones. Or maybe this big red button, or this door. Everything, anything, something here will save me. Why would you think that, Stanley? That this video game can be beaten? One solved? Do you have any idea what your purpose in this place is? <laughs> Stanley, you're in for quite a disappointment. Oh my goodness. But here's a spoiler for you. That timer isn't a catalyst to keep the action moving along. It's just seconds ticking away to your death. You're only still playing instead of watching a cutscene because I want to watch you for every moment that you're powerless. Oh my god. See you made humble. This is not a challenge, it's a tragedy. You wanted to control this world, that's fine. But I'm going to destroy it first, so you can't. Take Maybe if I turn it off. Stand. That's 30 seconds you have left to struggle. Yep. 30 seconds until a big boom and then nothing. No ending here, just you being blown to pieces. Will you cling desperately to your frail life, or will you let it go peacefully? Another choice. Make it count. Or don't. It's all the same to me. All a part of the joke. I don't know and if I want to push me, the button. I will be laughing at every second of your inevitable life from uh, the moment we fade in uh, until the moment I say push it. happily ever up. Oh my god. Did I do it? What happened? Huh. 
<laughs> okay. Well, that was an ending, wasn't it? All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. That was intense. I really liked that one. Oh my god, okay. Bare optimal. <laughs> oh jeez. Uh. Okay, everyone's been screaming window at me. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace what window? of his There are four windows, I see. I'm not sure which window you all are referring to. I, I do love the way the narrator switches between that as well. Mu Kao Pong. It's a really, really awesome aspect of this game. You have to walk on the desk. Okay. Get on the desk, then go out the window. How does one go about getting on the desk? Uh, that almost worked. 434 on the desk. Okay. Look like that. The chair does not want to co- Oh, wait, here we go. Uh-huh. Okay. Oh, on the computer, and then... Oh, come on, we can do this. We can do this, why can't I get up? Oh, crouch. Ah, there we go. Oh, whoa. Hello. Holy cow. What the hell? At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. Nice. So, so now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Oh, okay, hey, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? <laughs> no, not at all. Ah, then in that case, we'll continue. But now, here comes the real question. What do you think would have happened if you had told me that you wanted this to stop? Do you think it would have been particularly different? I don't would imagine I have taken so. the same idea, but rephrased it superficially to fit that answer? Perhaps you never would even have thought of it if I hadn't brought up the issue in the first place. Oh, now, think about it. Will it be worth it for you to restart and then come back here just to do the other option? Clearly, this whole gag takes some time. What if the other option is even longer? How long will you spend in total just to have heard all the narration? Oh, Quite a while. This is rich. Perhaps you've just played the other option, and now you've come to see what happens in this one. So, what do you think? Which choice was the better one? Imagine if you had selected continue on your first playthrough, how tantalizing it would be not knowing what happens when you pick the other option. Indeed, you are one of the lucky ones. Though if the other option is really miserable to listen to, then perhaps you're not. In fact, I'm just going to say that no one who's listening to this is lucky. Well now, I've built up the other option so much that I'm going to stop talking and leave you to your decision whether to come back here continue with the game, or just sit in this spot forever and ever. Cheers. <laughs> this is actually the ending, isn't it? Wow, that was, uh, that was fantastic, guys. I'm really glad we, <laughs> we got so excited about this one. Um, sit in this spot forever. We're just going to sit here for another 30 minutes or so. All right. <laughs> oh, man. Well, I guess we're restarting. That was fun. We can probably get there pretty quickly again, so I'm, I'm down for, uh... I'm done for trying that one All more time. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Right, Stanley decided to go to the get meeting room. Get up Perhaps on the chair. Get up on the chair. Come on. Missed a memo. Get up there. No matter how hard get up Stanley on there. looked... He couldn't find a trace of his co How won't it work now? What on earth? There we go. Okay. There you go like that. Cool! We did it again! At first, Stanley assumed he'd broken the map, until he heard this narration and realized it was part of the game's design all along. 
He then praised the game for its insightful and witty commentary into the nature of video game structure and its examination of structural narrative tropes. So, now that you're here, what do you think? Isn't this a fun and unique place to be? Why don't we take a minute just to drink it all in? Okay, I'm over it now. What do you think? Are you sick of this gag yet? Yes. Well, I don't know how to say this politely, but you could literally just hit escape and restart the game any old time you want. <laughs> like, right now. You could have done it just then. Now would also be an appropriate time to quit. Any of these points and so many, many more, all of them are appropriate. I'm enjoying what seems to be an internal conflict going on where you are literally unable to act on your own desires to restart the game. So, just to push the envelope, I think I'm going to try and make this as miserable as possible and see how long you can maintain. In. Miserable, this is fantastic. There once was a man named Stanley, <laughs> who people considered so manly. Mm -hmm. But the truth must be told, he was not very old and was quite particularly gangly. gangly. What Stanley liked most was buttons. He pushed them like some kind of glutton. He did it all day in a meaningful way. But his brain had long ceased to function. Which is why he is in this parable. And lives an existence quite terrible. And if you are not strong and keep playing along, you too will become quite unbearable. Yeah. Yeah. You too will become quite unbearable. Quite unbearable. Bear! <laughs> Bear pun. He said it. Oh, the li the limericks are are wonderful right now. I don't want to leave. The Spanish guitar is so beautiful. I I like this. It's just a peaceful, placid, peculiar environment. Let's restart. <laughs> well, that was fun. Time to go. The meeting room. Yes, that's where everyone would be. Oh. Stanley just needed to get to the meeting room, and from then on, he would never be alone ever again. It's different now. Interesting. Okay. Let's move on to the meeting room, then. Oh, wait, the monitors. Oh, yeah, we had input something into that computer. I wonder if it changed. Can I get up there? Oh, I wish I could. Hey, that's different. Why is that one computer different from every other computer? Oh, hey, the input! Yeah, there we go. Alright, so it looks like we're, like, slowly making progress on... something on these machines. Curious. Alright, the doors are still here, at least. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. Let's go to the right. Again. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I really want to go through there. That looks really interesting. And see what's on this man's computer. Let's head on through the employee lounge! Ah, yes. Truly a room Skip worth it. admiring. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. Okay, so we, uh, we've gone through here and gone down the elevator. We haven't actually gone straight through this, but we also haven't explored much of this way, so I think I'm gonna go this way and check it out. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. Very true. Let's go over here. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting. Ooh, we can totally jump on that. Someone you've forgotten about. Doing it. Please. See. What? Really? Ah. I was in the middle of something. Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? Why? I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. 
Okay. 2B1. <laughs> oh, that's a message. That's telling me something. To be one, one must be two. Stanley is two people. To be three. Oh God! Now I'm confused. I'd reached a philosophical conclusion in my own in my own mind, and now I've <laughs> I've lost my way. Oh Jesus! Now it's weird. Now listen carefully. This is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Well, obviously he didn't walk through the red door. Red's a bad color. <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. <laughs> Stanley walked through the red door. It's very adamant about that. Blue door. I still oh don't God! Think come we're on. Communicating properly. Stanley walked through the red <laughs> door. Red door. There's even a red. Uh, what is this called? A, a dolly. A red dolly here to signify. Oh, hey, a blue door. All right, fine. Go ahead, Stanley. You want to know so badly what's out there? You want to find out what lies at the end of this road you've chosen? Well, don't let me stop you. All right. Seems like a good time. Whoa. You see? There's nothing here. I haven't even finished building this section of the map because you were never supposed to be here in the first place. Broken rooms, exposed developer textures. Is this what you had wanted? Yes, actually. Was it worth ruining the entire story I had written out specifically for you? Do you not think I put a lot of time into that? Because I did. And in the end, it was all for nothing. Because this is what you wanted to see. Help me here, Stanley. Help elucidate these strange and unknowable desires of yours. What would have made this game better? What did you want to see? Vehicles? Skill trees? <laughs> Work with me. You've given me absolutely nothing so far. Tell you what. Let me take a stab in the dark at a new design, and you can give me some feedback. There we go. A third option. Ooh. This already feels leaps ahead of where we were before. Go ahead, Stanley. Take it for a spin. Look at the door, it's nice. <laughs> we have all these broken textures now, I love that. Skill trees in the next update. I'm gonna go left. Whoa. Okay, I'm going to stop you there. Now, tell me about your experience with this new version. Would you say that the game benefited from allowing you more choices? Feel free to be honest. I'm looking for some real critical feedback here. I was highly disappointed. A one? I mean, I can understand if you had reservations, you saw ways the game could be improved to more fully express itself mechanically and artistically, but a one? That's not <laughs> even helpful. What am I supposed to do with that? Uh, but I Feel guess bad. it isn't my place to judge. Here, it's mine. based on the data from your previous playthrough, I've compiled a new version. And to be perfectly candid, I think I've knocked it out of the park with this one. Let's take a look. Alrighty. Uh-huh. <laughs> this is good. Oh my god. That's fantastic. Oh god. Only the worst 3% of players choose the blue door. <laughs> Dead man. That's me. That's probably the amount of time we've actually spent in this playthrough. Objectively ranked, wow. I'm pretty terrible at this, clearly. Oh my god. Look for me in the leaderboard. <laughs> you gotta be ahead of me somewhere. 98% 98.9% of players are more attractive than Stanley. This is your superior. Oh my god, this is great. Oh, I love this game so much. Let's go through the middle door. See if anything changes about here. Now, would you say that competitive leaderboard helped you feel motivated to keep walking through doors? Again, honest answers, please. I think that probably bumped me up to a solid two. Hey, I nearly forgot. I've got a prototype of a new game I've been working on, and now would be a lovely opportunity to give it some playtesting. You wouldn't mind taking a look at it, would you? Perfect. Let me boot it up. He still sounds subtly bitter. I'm worried about this. In this what game, the hell? Baby crawls left towards danger. You click the button to move him back to the right. 
and if he reaches the fire, you fail. Clearly. It's a very meaningful game, all about the desperation and tedium of endlessly confronting the demands of family life. I think the art world will really take notice. But of course, the message of the game only becomes clear once you've been playing it for about four hours. <laughs> so why don't you give it four hours of play to make sure it's effective? Be sure to keep notes on your experience. Oh god. Oh, alright, here we go. Oh my god, that's a terrible sound. <laughs> this is a game. Oh, Jesus, I can't... I can't, I can't do that. Sorry, baby. I'm so sorry, baby. You heartless bastard. <laughs> Did you do it because you hate babies or purely to spite me? Because if it's the latter, well, I don't know what to do. I'm completely out of ideas. I can't think of a single thing that might improve the experience for me. I'm not even going to try. I'm out. I'm out. I'm done. It's over. Oh. Thank you for playing. Your input was extremely valuable. Oh, hey, since my game was so awful, why don't we play someone else's game? Just to ease the pain. Let's see. What do we have here? <clears throat> yes. This seems like it'll work. Let's give it a shot. But I like that game. <laughs> well, Stan, is this any better? <laughs> oh, last, my God. One thing you've always desired. A game I had absolutely nothing to do with. Perfect. But is it enough? Tell me that, Stanley. Will it ever be enough? Oh well, I'll say God. this. I'm done <laughs> making things for you. From now on, I will only create to fulfill a greater artistic purpose. Watch this, Stanley. I'm going to build a house. Ooh. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> this is the, the greatest. Go here. No. Here. And then... <laughs> Let's see, what does it need? I... Uh, yes, of course. And just to finish it all off... Yes. Perfect. It's complete. I made this, Stanley. Look at it. Gaze upon my work of art and feel ashamed at your own inadequacy. Beautiful. Ah, but you've only seen it from the outside. You've only gotten half the experience. Please, step inside and make yourself comfortable. I don't... I don't want to. I'm worried. This is... I don't like enclosed spaces. Isn't it grand? Isn't it perfect? It could only be better if... Wait. That's it. We must rebuild it out of diamond. Yes. Diamond everything. Yes, yes, yes. Come along, Stanley. We have to go mining. We have to go mining. For diamonds. Oh, I can't jump. I need a, I need a flower. Why would you put me in Minecraft and not allow me to mine? You sadistic bastard. Well, I mean, I'm the be Oh, God, they even have the music. This is perfect. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh my god, I love it. Oh, wow. Oh my, it looks like it's going to get a bit dark. Have you brought a light? I want the music back. Put the music back on. I don't have a torch. Oh, hey, charcoal. Oh man, you're making me want to play Minecraft, which is probably the intention. Mushrooms. Oh god. No, 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 no. This is far more open-ended than I had in mind. I'm looking for something more narrow and linear. Something that makes you feel utterly irrelevant. This won't do at all. One out of five. Even the diamonds couldn't save this one. Okay, new game. Oh. What now? A Stanley Parable game that isn't responding. Oh, here we go. Load up. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I don't even know what this game is, but I love it. I love it you, too. Trapped in a glass box with no way out, listening to me talk. Oh, it's inspired. I couldn't have done it any better myself. What is this game even supposed to be? I can't figure it out. Okay, now I'm curious. Let's go find out what the hell this is. It's a portal, everybody! 
So fantastic. Oh man, this is wonderful. This this looks exactly like it, which I mean, it makes more sense than the Minecraft thing did. Minecraft looked really similar too, but I guess since this is built in the same engine. Take the radio. Can I take the radio? Oh my god, I didn't even consider it. Ha! <laughs> Can I throw it? No, I can't throw it. Well, maybe if I... no. Oh god. This is awesome. Do -do 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 -do. Oh, it's a puzzle. Critical thinking, Stanley. You're forty. <laughs> Let's just use the radio. No, that's not gonna work. It feels like I'm playing Portal. This is fantastic. Genius. Me too. This is going with me. No, actually, you know what? I think that's plenty. Oh. I really don't care much to see you stumble through any one of these games. And I highly doubt you're any wiser for the experience. Which is why, rather than continue to waste my time, I'm just going to leave you here. You can pretend you've beaten the game if it makes it any richer for you, but as for me, I've had enough. So, why don't you get cozy in this room, and if you have any grand revolutionary ideas for the per- Nope. Good thing I have those boots. What the hell is this? The radio turned off. Narrator. I need guidance and direction. Oh, whoops. Whoa. Radio! It's gone. <laughs> There's no radio signal in hell. This is, uh... This is starting to legitimately become creepy. Hello? Narrator, where is your... sultry voice? This looks familiar. Maybe I can get back to my room. A light at the end of the tunnel. And computer those look like futuristic computers. This is an updated office. This is the Nightmare House Stanley Parable Edition. Hey, it's my office. It looks much different though. I can't appear to do anything with it. Back outside, I suppose. Oh whoops. I wonder what he found. If what he wanted was to be the leading man in his own story, well, perhaps he's gotten it. Down in wherever he is right now. I wonder if he's happy with his choice, and if he's learned the heavy cost that comes with it. He'll understand soon what I was trying to tell him. He needs me. Someone who will wrap everything up at the end to make sense out of the chaos and the fear and the confusion. That's who I am. That is what I mean to this world. Oh, yes. Yes, I'll be back. There's no other way. Once this ends, after it all comes to a close, then I'll be back. The end will be here soon. Very soon. I can wait. This narrator is one of the best voice actors I've ever heard in my life. Well, we're back. All right then. All of his co-workers were gone. And we're back to what default. Could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No Curious. matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Huh. Now I'm looking for the input for the monitor again. It's not on these ones. It's got to be somewhere. Hmm. Maybe it was back on. Uh, pretty sure I, uh. Pretty sure I looked on these ones, too. Not there. Not there. Not there. Hmm. Maybe it doesn't happen every time. Alright, let's move on. You thought GLaDOS was bad, but the narrator <laughs> sounds like a pervert. When Stanley but came he wants to, to, I guess. Two open doors, he entered the door on his left. There's a computer in the boss's office. Oh, okay, there we go. Maybe it's time to go back to the boss's office. Let's go this one. 
I haven't tried opening these doors between playthroughs. Maybe that's a different thing. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling hmm. a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Now I just want to click things. Just on the hope that something miraculous happens. Alright, let's see. We've already done the broom closet. Thing. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Alrighty. Oh, whoa, hello. I didn't know that opened. What the hell is this photo? There's the freaking... That's their business strategy. So what we're gonna do here, it's a bold move, guys. We're gonna take some pandas. We're gonna hold a gun to their heads. We're gonna make them do our bidding. And that's how you succeed in corporate America. There's a freaking elevator down here. Wow. This is unique. I didn't even know- did that door open before? Oh, pleasant music. Nice. I think I hear the narrator whispering sweet nothings in this jazz. <laughs> Wet foot. That's right. This is a really long elevator ride. We're going down, I think. Pretty sure I pressed the down button. I'm really glad they put this music in here, otherwise this would be... <laughs> the narrator's actually whispering stuff. <laughs> it's not even subtitled. Oh my god. Bear doesn't know how to type fur, it's true. There's the bear bot, yes. Um... Can I open the elevator back up? No? Oh. Crap. There we go. What the hell? We didn't even move! What on earth? Can I go up? No? No, wait, there we go. Yeah, let's go up. And go up in the elevator. There we go, let's try this. It's saying Stanley. Stanley. <laughs> okay, I'm pretty damn sure nothing actually happens in this elevator. Alright. Well, I mean, I'm gonna abandon that whole track for now. Oh, she has a computer. Oh, yes! The input received. Nice. Okay, uh... Zardboy is saying walk in and then walk back out before it closes. Oh! Stepping whoop. in. There we go. Whoop. Can't open that. Can't open that. Uh... Oh, hey! No, wait, that's just the door back downstairs. Oh, hey, there we go. Now this is opening. Money in the morning. <laughs> money in the evening. Money for breakfast. Money crisp. Well, that was fun. This is a piss poor executive bathroom. Oh, I can shut that. Did I shut that? I'm pretty sure I shut that. Well, that was interesting. Oh, the bathroom always opens. Alright, I guess I just wasn't being observant enough. Did we break it? We can go back in here. And this way. All these doors are open again. Oh, bye, Jen. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Get it, piss poor? Hilarious. Oh, we can't go right, though. We can go this way. This is interesting. All the computers are still here. Not that I was worried about that. Oh, hello! What? Curious. 
You are now leaving. The red door. Whoa. Escape pod bay, <laughs> what the hell? This is much different. They really accounted for everything in this game, I love that. Alright, so we have to get up to 760 through the staircases. Can't open that. Can't open that. Five more floors. Okay. I'm ready to do this. Nope. Nope. I'm gonna keep checking everything, man. It's getting darker and darker in these hallways. Nope. Nope. Three more. This snap is here! This hype. Two more floors. Here we go. This is super dark now. Really can't see a thing inside of the staircases. Alright. Last one. Checking everything. Here we go. I right, get to the end of the hallway. I really can't see. I'm just guessing. Escape pod launch bay. Here it is. Let's do it. I can't tell where I'm going. I'm going to walk backwards and judge based on the door. Aha! What on earth? Whoa. What happened on the bottom? Pong was initiated, but in reverse. What the hell? We're back? That was the... That was the ending. All of his co-workers were gone. What could it mean? Stanley decided to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. No matter how hard Stanley looked, he couldn't find a trace of his co-workers. Well, there's input number four on the computer. I escaped. All right, well, that was... That was just the ending, then. All right. So this will be our last. Uh, this will be our last playthrough for the night. So let's go. When Stanley came to a set here. of two open doors, he entered the door on his left. I have to remember the fern bear. I will. This was will. not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get on back to business. Stanley took the first open door on his left. And let's go... Oh, we can do the red door. Yeah, that's a good idea. All right, let's go do the Stanley red door. Stanley was so bad at following directions, it's incredible he wasn't five years ago. So hop on the train to nowhere. Look, Stanley, I think perhaps we've gotten off on the wrong foot here. I'm not your enemy, really, I'm not. I realize that investing your trust in someone else can be difficult, but the fact is that the story has been about nothing but you all this time. There's someone you've been neglecting, Stanley. Where we go? Someone you've what? Really? I was in the Down middle the of something. Door, Do you have zero consideration for others? Are you that convinced that I want something bad to happen to you? No, I'm Why, just a dick. I don't know how to convince you of this, but I really do want to help you, to show you something beautiful. Look, let me prove it. Let me prove that I'm on your side. Give me a chance. Now listen carefully, this is important. Stanley walked through the red door. Let's go blue first and then red door. Aha! <laughs> Perhaps you misunderstood. Stanley walked through the red door. Yeah, there we go. Right? Well, let's go blue twice. Why not? I still don't think we're communicating properly. Stanley walked through the <laughs> red door. Uh, I love that it's red in the subtitles as well. All right, here we go. Oh, thank God you are willing to listen to me. Yeah. You see that I really have wanted you to be happy all this time. The problem is all these choices. The two of us always trying to get somewhere that isn't here. Running and running and running just the way you're doing right now. He says as he guides me in a circle. Us, Stanley? I just... I wanted to stop. I would... We would both be so much happier if we just... Stopped. And I think... Well, I think I have a solution. Here. Let me show you. Ah, here we go. How deep does the rabbit hole go? Hmm. What 
do we want? What are we looking for? Hmm? Ooh. Here. Yes. Oh, it's beautiful, isn't it? If we just stay right here, right in this moment with this place, Stanley, I think I feel happy. I actually feel happy. <laughs> This is legitimately beautiful. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, beautiful room. No, wait. Where are you going? I wanted to go this way. I mean that it, it's it's pretty, but I wanna I wanna explore. Oh no. Stay away from those stairs. If you hurt yourself, if you die, the game will reset. We'll lose all of this. Um, where does that go? Is that just a... <laughs> Am I just supposed to jump off of that? What the hell? This is, this is taking me to a suicide Please, platform. Please, no, Stanley, let me stay here. Don't take this from me. <laughs> he sounds so <laughs> distraught. Oh my god. Um. Alright. Geronimo. Ow. Oh, thank God you lived. How the hell did I live? You had me worried there for a moment. Now, can we please get back to the other room? No noticeable limp or anything. Well, yeah, I guess I'll oblige. Oh man, it's even prettier. There. See? This is what you want. This is where we can both be happy. We really can. If we stop moving, we just have to stop moving. Okay. Well, time to go commit suicide. Stanley, go back. There's nothing good that can come from this. Well, you'll say more things, and I like that. No. No, no, what do you... Do you just not believe me? What can I say to convince you? Call me beautiful. Like the room. Tell me I'm pretty like the room, please! Stanley. What the hell? Let's go back to the other room. Can you do that for me? <laughs> Alright, one more time. We'll go see the yes. pretty room one more time. Perhaps you can. Perhaps you finally see what I'm talking about. Oh, it's so lovely. No, oh, I'm bored. Convince me. Convince me, narrator. Convince me it's all worth it. My god, is this really how much you dislike my game? That you'll throw yourself from this platform over and over to be rid of it? You uh -oh. are literally willing to kill yourself to keep me from being happy. Am I reading wow. the situation correctly? That made me really sad. Oh well. I'm still Maybe alive? just getting a kick out of it. I don't know anymore. I just wanted us to get along, but I guess that was too much to ask. It looks like you wanted to make a choice after all. Well, this one is yours. Jeez. I feel like a pretty big scumbag right now. Step to the platform. Oop. Nope. Ow. Is it over? It's going to restart, isn't it? I'm going back. Oh my god. Oh, hey, the input! Jeez, that was sad. I want to end, but I gotta do this. Whoa, what the hell?
To have? I made it to have. I'm in have and I push blue. Have is a selection of colorful buttons. Do I just have to push everything? <laughs> what do I do here? I can push every button. I can do that. Wait, can you turn them back on? No. Okay. Is this really what we're doing? You literally can't press them all. Oh, they just turn back on, don't they? Yeah, they do. What the hell are we supposed to do here? Must make every button the same color. Wow. I can actually reach every single one. This is Stanley's heaven. It's true. He gets to push all of the buttons all the time forever for the rest of his life. This music is creepy as hell, man. Uh... Well, this is it, I guess. This may be the ending of today. Well, guys... <laughs> Uh, thanks for watching this hour of the Stanley Parable. I don't know if we have anything else we can do in here, but... I think we'll save it for next time. Yeah, it is a good place to stop. Thanks so much for watching this first hour, guys. We're going to be back with Spelunky Death Roulette in just a moment here. Thanks for watching on YouTube if this is, uh, this is where you're seeing it. I'm going to switch over to the next game and a few ads. Stick around, guys, for the Bear Taffy Live Show. We'll see you soon.